Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Ben Daniel. Welcome back to my channel for another fragrance review this day. And before I get into it, I hope everybody's doing well, keeping well, doing fine, keeping strong, smelling good, staying healthy. That's it. So this is it, folks. Uh, I'm glad you tuned in this day and thanks for watching. And to all new subscribers, welcome. And today I bring out La Tafa Camera. <laughs> There you go, the black box and the brown box over here. So today, as from the title, this is not a battle. A lot of Latafa camera videos are always like Kawa versus Latafa, the OG camera. Uh, camera versus Kawa. I'm not doing that. I don't talk about battles and versus fragrances, what I have in my personal collection. So today, it's all about what this juice is for me, my opinion on it, my take on it. Again, Fragrance reviewing, fragrance uh, likes and dislikes are very subjective, and everybody's going to have their own opinion about it. Some are going to be hateful, some are going to love it, some are going to go crazy about it, some are just going to be turned off by it. But today, this is it. Now, I was in the Latafa store back in January in Dera, Dubai, the Latafa main store. Uh, you can check it out when you go to Dera. It's near the Gold Souk. It's in the Perfume Souk area. Talking to one of the managers over there. The, the lots of people working at Latafa store over there. And he said that Latafa Kamra, one of the best sellers ever. And Latafa Kawa, one of the best sellers. So before I bring the bottles out, I just want to show you the boxes. There you go. Let's start with this one. It's all black all around with uh, hard cardboard over there. That's how it looks inside. That's right. Oh, yeah. It's glitter on my phone <laughs> it's my wife's old phone anyway so that's right i do all my video recording on a cell phone not a professional camera that's a very reflective uh put that away let's get the calm kawa box out i'm keeping the boxes away now and that's all brown and dark brown cardboard there you go again that's how it is inside over there okay and the details at the back they got lots of languages just in case you are a bit wondering about it german spanish Dutch, Italian, French, Arabic, and English. There you go. So I'm going to keep the boxes away and let me bring out the bottles. Woo-wee. There you go. There you go, folks. That's it. We get a little over there. Oh, that's Pro Evolution Soccer uh, 2015 for the PC playing in the background over there. Okay, this is it. Camera Kawa. All right, Latafa camera. You can check out the juice. It's all that beautiful orange over there. Lovely juice all around. Lovely bottle. And Kawa is very brownish, kind of blackish over here. I think that's just because of the tint of the bottle. And it's the same bottle design almost. Yeah. Yeah, except the cap looks a little bit different, but depending how you place the cap on over here. So again, a video does not do justice till you're holding these bottles upright. You can check this out, and you would know for sure that this is obviously going to be a much stronger juice. Now, we all know about Camera. Those of you who are familiar with Middle Eastern fragrance and Latafa, when you open this up, you've got to twist, oh, twist the cap and take it out. And then... Close it back in. There you go. And for Kawa, I think you got to do the same thing. I'm not going to take a chance just to pull it out. Some reviewers have done that and they broke the atomizer. So I'm not going to try anything. Latafa camera and Kawa. So let's get into it. Let's get into some note breakdown and what this fragrance means to me. Kamra. It's got bergamot, nutmeg, cinnamon, dates, <laughs> praline, tuberous, myrrh, tonka bean. Benzoin, amber, and akigala wood. Akigala wood. There you go. To my nose, it's very sweet. Absolutely sweet gourmand fragrance. If you don't like sweet gourmand fragrances, please stay away from this. And like I said, it's one of the best sellers in the Middle East. I think in just the UAE in Dubai. I don't know about other uh, Middle Eastern countries, but definitely one of the best sellers. It's slightly boozy. Uh, it's got that beautiful aromatic woody vibe to it. It's very elegant and absolutely gorgeous, sweet fragrance. And I would say it's a power juice. To me, this is a power juice. Let me just keep that aside over there. All right. It's an absolute power juice. And it's very classy. It's very sophisticated. 
it's got that syrupy vibe to it and to my nose it's quite intense as a odor perfume i would say it's an odor perfume intense version and it's a definitely must have fragrance if you don't have this in your collection i would suggest i'm not recommending i would suggest get a sample a decant test it out in a store there are many stores now that are having it you i think there are a couple of online sites where you can order a five mil decant test it out and maybe your nose will like it maybe you like it maybe uh people in your family will like it maybe your spouse will like it too fine so in terms of longevity absolutely no complaints i got this back in let's see uh 2023 no 2022 two years ago i think about november october november 2022 i don't remember the exact date but around that time and still it's pretty strong i haven't even used much of it but i get easily easily seven to seven and a half hours amazing sweet syrupy syrupy not syrupy syrupy slight boozy fragrance power juice very elegant very classy and two hours of projection till it settles into that beautiful scent bubble and uh ooh, you'll be smelling it yeah and and i guess people will be smelling it too all around you fine oh we got an ad away i gotta skip ads man youtube and these silly ads all right fine so this is it for me to me it's just amazing it's it's a must-have fragrance it's got that um, beautifully well blended sweet vibe to that praline that myrrh that tonka bean that amber uh, get a lot of that nutmeg the dates i'm eating a lot of dates right now because you reach a certain age and you go 50 plus you know you got to take care of your health and you have to eat healthy and so dates are now part of my uh, daily diet almost right now and cinnamon Ooh, now cinnamon gives off uh that little bit of that slight spicy vibe not too much you get it initially but when it dries down you get a lot of that sweetness and that booziness and that woodiness over there so that's my take on latafa camera now comes to the big boy the powerhouse juice this is power juice but i would say this is powerhouse yeah that's right it's a hard hitter uh, a class juice this is i would say a minus i would have to say this is a plus right up right now okay so what's this camera kawa the flanker all about okay let's get into it folks the notes are ginger Ooh, you get that spicy cinnamon again you get the cardamom you get praline this candy fruits can't really make out the fruits I, probably i'm getting a little papaya not sure why yeah, a little bit of that papaya. Maybe that's one of the candied fruits. Remember, when Latafa put their note breakdown, it's not always going to be exact. They kind of hide a few things. White flowers, coffee. That's what kawa means, coffee. And it's that Middle Eastern kind of coffee over there. It's And it's got tonka beans. It's got musk, a very well-known compound and uh, component in Middle Eastern fragrances just to kind of taper off that sweetness and it's got vanilla and benzoin so to my nose latafa camera is warm it's sweet very very sweet gourmandy fragrance aromatic and spicy again this is not a battle and i'm coming to a couple of questions about whether you need to have both or just one of them it's exquisite a plus power juice i prefer this over this one Personally, I prefer it over this. It's very elegant, same as this, very classy. It leans more masculine. This is definitely unisex. And a lot of people say this is a take on uh, Killian's Angel Shared. And some people say, no, I don't care. I don't care what it's cloning or what it's inspired from. I'm talking about as it is right now. This one is more masculine, more manly than the regular OG camera. And it's got that beautiful, amazing blend from the initial spray to the end. Exquisite, elegant, classy, nothing offensive. Unless you hate gourmand, sweet, spicy, warm fragrances, stay away from this too. All right, in terms of longevity, better in this one. I got eight hours and two hours of projection till it settles that lovely scent bubble just surrounds you now i tested this out a sample of it in the latafa showroom in dera dubai but it was out of stock 
The manager just had a little bottle sitting in the corner and he was kind of hesitant to take it out. And I asked him if he was going to sell that bottle because it was almost half. He said, no, I'm just keeping it only for select people. But I told him, you know, I'm from India. I came all the way down here to buy some fragrances. So he put two sprays on my hand and ooh, I immediately know how to pick it up. He said that he would get it in about a couple of days, but we were flying out soon, so I couldn't wait. Coming back to India, I picked it up over here. So I knew I had to have it. Now, when I smelt this, regardless of what reviewers said, because I checked out reviews of it last year, and only in January did I get to sample this in the Latafa showroom. I knew immediately when I smelt this fragrance what it reminded me of. And it's quite ironic because I haven't been on Fragrantica for quite a long time. And I just checked it out a few days ago uh, to say what people are saying about Kamara Kawa. And a lot of people uh, mentioned that it's similar to this fragrance, to Kamara, very similar, and to another one, which is a designer fragrance. I don't know if it's in stock right now or it's available or in production. And it's this one right here. I have it. Salvatore Ferragamo Umo. Yes, I'm speaking Italian like the godfather. <laughs> I hate to tell you. No, I'm just going to say Salvatore Ferragamo Umo. Umo, Umo, whatever. Right, yeah. Very similar. And on Fragrantica, there was a huge rating. A lot of people were saying it's absolutely. When I smelled this in the Latafa showroom back in January, I knew immediately. Why? This is one of my favorite gourmand fragrance. I would say, no, I would say it is my favorite gourmand fragrance. I'm almost done with it. Check it out. This is my first bottle that I picked up back. All right, get ready for this. Back in 2018. That's right. I got this back in 2018. It's an eau de toilette, not even an eau de perfume. Even the color has changed over there. And I have a second backup bottle, which is a tester version. And I haven't used much of that. But this one is absolutely strong. This was my Sunday fragrance. That's why a lot of it is used up. Now I got an amazing replacement. I don't know if Cam I don't know if Latafa were thinking of Savato Ferragamo Umo when they were creating this. I don't know. They have never said it. I've asked them online and they haven't given a proper reply. They said it's their own creation, their own blend. I'll go with it. Now regardless of what the note breakdown for Umo is and this one, I'm telling you the praline, the candy fruits, the coffee in this, here it's tiramisu. I'm not a big fan of tiramisu as a dessert, but I love the smell on this. Here, the tonka bean, the mustard vanilla, the cardamom, and the ginger, and the cinnamon all work so great. Absolutely. How close is it in terms of percentage? Well, I would say about close to 90% of Savato Ferragamo Umo. I'm not sure if this is in production or available anymore. And if you do get this, online or in a retail store in a fragrance store i'm very sure it's going to be watered down horrible performance get this one all right so there you go i'm going to put that away and this is it there you go both of them classy both of them elegant both of them amazing blends both of them exquisite this one more masculine and manly this one definitely unisex in terms of what my preference will be camera kawa absolutely hands down this one my second over here so that's it folks a very simple uh, review no battle i'm not doing a versus to say in that blah 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 i don't do versus battles and waste my time on that both of them are great now the question is which one to get well that depends on you that depends on your budget that depends on your preference and uh, that depends on your style over there what would you write? What would you really like it to be? I would say, I'm not recommending. My personal opinion is get them both. That's it. You're going to really enjoy this and this. This one is more casual. Now, ever since I got this, this was very formal to semi-formal. But since I got Kawa, I treat this more casual that I can actually spray and go out and get a bunch of stuff to do outside and run errands and whatever. And even go to a mall. But this is a very, very special occasion. I keep this still as my Sunday fragrance because it's the most important day for me. Fine. So, again, it comes down to your preference, your choice, and what your budget is. If you have this, is it redundant to get Kawa? Maybe, maybe not. If you already have Kawa, do you want to go back in this? I would say no. If you have Kawa, you could skip this. If you have Kamra, look into Kawa. So 
Again, I, I leave that to you. I'm not an influencer. I cannot influence you. I'm just giving you my take on it. Fine, there you go. Beautiful, both of them. Sweet, slight spicy, that warm, aromatic, powered juice with all those beautiful notes and those compounds and this entire concussion in it. And very similar to this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a worthy replacement for Umo. I slammed my back a bottle, but I'll be using this. In terms of pricing, you can get it online. Uh, I see some people selling this for above two grand. I don't know if that's the correct price, but I'm sure you can get it for much lesser from other retailers. You can check out with Ashish Sharma from Fragaholic and uh, uh, the other guy, I forgot his name, <laughs> uh, Kanchan. Yeah, Kanchan from Freystock and even other online sellers and retailers too. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Take care, everybody. Have a great day ahead of you. Have a blessed day. And look into this juice. In terms of longevity, both of them perform absolutely amazing. I don't know about the current batch right now. Uh, if you do, let me know how you feel about it in terms of performance. But top-notch stuff over here. Okay, I'll see you when I see you. And uh, have a great day. And this is it right here. I want to put this over there. Let's see if I can get that shot. Nah, okay. Just a little bit of it. <laughs> All right, you go. All right, Kawa, Latafa, OG, Kamra. Take care and look into both of them. All right, bye-bye.